Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to episode number three of The Room 3. Hope you're well this Saturday night. So, just to recap where we are at the moment, guys. We are pretty much at the end of the game. We have all five artifacts, but I have been told on good authority that before I place the final artifact, I need to... Um, I need to basically unlock all of the endings so I can chop between. If I don't unlock the endings, then apparently, um, I can't copy. I was just seeing a copy. Um, apparently, if I don't unlock all the endings before placing that down, I would have to replay the entire game. So we need to basically the aim of today's stream. Then it's going to be to kind of like look around and um, see. What more we can do? So these are things that we have got. The wax cylinder, the mysterious artifact, screwdriver, and a crank wheel. So they're all things that we have got here to kind of play around with. So... Yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, there was this thing over on this side of the room, wasn't there? So that controlled the light, which we swung around. There's this thing here, which looks like it needs some something to go on it. And that's kind of like, it's on a rail of some sort, so... We need to find something to go on here, it seems, but whatever that is, I don't have that just yet. There's definitely something to do with that. So we need to find something there. I mean, can we... Yes, that's got like a shape. Oh, hello. yeah, okay. So I think what's going to happen here is we're going to place that down and then possibly look inside there to do something. This crank wheel is just that. So the crank wheel would, to me, possibly belong to... I think I might reopen this at all. No, it's locked off now. Uh, yeah, the crank wheel potentially would be for the clock, maybe? I'm not sure. So let's let's go down. Let's head down. So all of these symbols have appeared again, which is interesting. Now, I think what's going to happen is, I think the idea is as we unlock each ending, I, I kind of think um, one of these cards will pop up. Because if we look at the achievements, the achievements are actually called uh, imprisoned, and, imprisoned Ending, the card we have, Escaped, Released, and Lost. So... Um, I think that's the aim of the game is we need to raise each of these cards here to get each of the different endings. Maybe I should follow the I should follow the paint. But the paint goes back out here. So I'm wondering... I can open the gate. 
Interesting. So, did I read this before? Yeah, I've read that one then before. Just wanted to make sure. Just checking. Alright, so. Let's proceed through the gate, I guess. Uh, 17. It's got to make 17, possibly. Uh, 11, 4. 11, 3, 5 is 8. 8. 12, 5. Okay. 31. I'm to check that one, actually. They are our additions, aren't they? Yeah, okay, so 8 and 4 is 12, plus 5 is 17. So then we've got... It's 31, 31 minus 8 is 23. So 3... 4, 8 is 24, 24 plus 7, so 8 times 3 plus 7 is 8, times 3 is 24, plus 7 is 31. Oh, jeez. Um, got to make 30, so 9 minus 5 is 4, plus 12 is 16, 20. All right, let's, let's hold on. Let's work backwards here. Let's let's work backwards. So um twenty uh, I don't know. I'm working backwards is not so easy. All right, that'd be negative eight. That'd be four. Eleven. 11 times 2 is 22, plus 8. Don't need to put them all up to here. All right, so we've got something here. I have a feeling that something is gonna, oh, hello. That interfering friend of AS continued to ask questions and I should like to ask a few of my own. How did they overcome the null? How much energy resides in that brilliant soul of theirs? It would take the last dregs of my energy I have stored to bring them here, but they might also be the key. I have no choice but to take the risk. All right, so I have an inkling that, excuse me, if I, if I do that, something else is gonna appear in one of these bits and pieces here. There's no more. That weird paint is there. So, all right, so the numbers puzzle, I feel like the numbers puzzle is what we need to do right now. Alright, so I'm guessing this isn't right then. So, hold on, let's 
Go back to the maths. 8 times 3 is 24. Twenty four plus seven. Twenty four plus eight would be thirty two. So yes, that's right. Um all right, maybe we need to go and check something else perhaps. Maybe something different happened. In here, perhaps? Pretty sure I took everything from in here, didn't I? Yeah, kind of anything with that. That's all emptied. We did that. We read this. Yes, yeah, so I think we're done in here. So I thought that was a doorway before, but it doesn't look like we can get into there. No paint or anything lying around in here, so maybe we are just generally genuinely done in here. Alright, so let's head out of here and back into here. So I'm still pretty certain that we need to somehow put this in here. But I'm not sure how, so that's a, a mystery. It's all finished, can't do anything else with that. That switch is flipped. We can't unflip that. I can put that back. I 
I just think I need to imprint something on it and then put it back either in here or in one of the other ones. It seems like the logical thing to do. Right, so at the minute we're stuck for doing anything in here. So that just leaves this room. Now we've still not worked out this, have we? See, that's quite um, suspicious looking. So you'd assume that, but that kind of just seems a bit too obvious. So it's like something needs to be dropped on there, on that little pressure plate inside, which is, could be where I am not seeing whatever it is I need to do. <laughs> I need to get into there. How on earth do I do that? Also, oh, I wonder, hold on. Okay, no. I wonder if I could like transfer that, but isn't this where this came from? Yeah, so that's where that came from. Can't take any of the crystals back. Certainly pretty confused. I need to find somewhere with that on the bottom to place this. So I assume something opens up or I get to look inside it. I 
Gotta use my screwdriver still. And that's just the normal pyramid. Hmm. <laughs> what could it be? This room is still. This this room is like really bugging me. Nine minus seventeen. Hold on. Nine. Take away seven is two. Take away ten is minus eight. Minus eight plus twelve is four. Twenty eight. Oh, hold on. I've done my math wrong. So. Negative eight plus twelve is positive four. No, that's right. Positive four plus seven is eleven times two is twenty two plus eight is thirty. That's right. So why is nothing else happening? I don't know if this has anything to do with anything or if this is just sort of like Yeah, I think that's just I don't, I don't think it's anything. Twenty 
24 and 7 is 31. Nine. Let's put on my calculator. Nine minus seventeen plus twelve plus seven times two plus eight is thirty. So what am I missing? I'm not doing like lowest to highest. Uh, that didn't change anything. Seventeen thirty one and all right. So what if? can turn that over. Can't use a screwdriver on there. Can't put this in anywhere on there. I'm I'm lost. I am lost. I don't know what to do. place I haven't been is I haven't been up since I did that last puzzle Can't return back to the observatory or any of the the items, or any of the areas once we've passed them.
I am stuck. Still feel like I'm missing something with the the whole gramophone thing at the minute. I think that has to do with So once an item is literally once an item is done with, you can't then interact with it anymore. So kind of takes out a degree of Can't take that back. See, that thing leads me, it leads me into that room with the switches and the number puzzle, but I can't do anything once I'm there. stuck as to what to do next. All right, let's look.
really want to watch a video. Um, all right. The room three endings. If you wonder why I've looked for the observatory, I was looking for thumbnails. Let's look at Stack Exchange. I went back to change my fate, but I don't know what to work on. I solved a couple of more puzzles, but there doesn't seem to be anything left that I have a way to manipulate. I don't do. I don't want to walk through just to hint about what I should be looking for. My inventory. I have a screwdriver, a craftsman's key, and the, oh, I don't have the craftsman's key. All right, so that's a bit further on. I don't want to go there just yet. So, you need to find objects around Greyhound Manor that you could cause the alternate endings. You should have the screwdriver and the craftsman key at this point. Well, I don't have a craftsman key. All right, so yeah, that's doing that. We've done this, we've done this. Gives us the key. Get the cube, take the cube. Oh. All right, so I haven't done anything with the clock. It looks like we can do something with the clock then. All right, so clock is where we need to be it seems so look I thought there was something with the clock sorry death wish all right so there is something we can do with the clock I was kind of suspicious from the clock, like from the first episode, because when we were the eyepiece, we get the the other thing. So, but how do I shut this up? Because this is. So, I need a way to turn this. Excuse me. Because there's nothing here I can actually interact with. I go to the fortune teller, turn into a key. Go upstairs, get the metal object. Maybe I've done that already. 
Did I do that already? Yeah, I've done that. All right, so I've done this already. I remember doing this. All right, so we've done all this. This is nothing new. We'll lock that. Press that button. Get the handle. Look at the note. Flick the switch. Solve this puzzle. Read the other note. Solve that puzzle. Gives me that. That does that. Gives me imprisoned. Gives me that. He deceives you. Go up to the elevator in the atrium. There's a lot safe. It turns out that the track the trap ball actually controls chandelier like a pendulum. You need to move it back and forth. Go and mention swing it back at the safe. It will drop down to the lower level, break over and go back. Read the lesson, take no crystal. Done that. So we're going to here, place that into there. That turns into the ball. Place the other one. Do the maze. That gives us it's cranked iron gate going to the new room. All right, some mass problem solve here. Pull each lever. Each set of levers to some, see some numbers. Notice the arrow telling you the equation starts. F oh. All right. That could be my issue. I didn't take note. So that's seven times three is 21, plus eight is 29. 2831. There we go. All right. That's the bit of information I was missing. All right. So then let's do this last one. All right. We're starting at the bottom again. So eight times. 2 is 16, plus 4 is 23, it's 35, 35 minus 17 is 18, alright, so, right, so let's do 2 times 5 is 10, plus 7 is 17, 17 plus 12 is 29. Take away 5 is 20. So that was 29. 24. Right, so that's not right. 40. 44. 47. 40. 44, 47, 30, 32, 16, 7 is 23, 26, 21, 30. There we go. All right, we are on track for something new here. Library. So, okay, so does that mean I've activated the clock in the library perhaps? Okay, the phone is ringing. Oh. 
cross shape key. Excellent. All right, so that's in there. So now we need to play it some music. So I guess now what we're going to do is we're going to activate the phone in the garden, glass house, greenhouse kind of area. Because that's got a record on it. That will give me, that will print it out for me. And then I guess it will allow me to take that. Yeah, okay. I'm just surmising here. Let's stop surmising so much. Oh. Okay, it's a memory game. One, two, three. All right. So we have another coin, another token for the machine. Excellent. Let's go put this in the fortune machine. I guess this will give us our second ending. That's on the assumption that what I said was true and I was um, Yeah, that's on the assumption that that was right. The other one has gone though. I think it's freaky. Escape. Okay. Give me a crank handle. Okay. Seems like we're going this way now. It's leading me this way. Okay. So there are visual hints, it seems. Well, that's just hinting at stuff that I've already done. Ah, so. So now let's go back to the library. Because I need to write that tune to the wax.
All right, so now I'll take this to the, uh, here. Yeah, now I'll take this into the stage. Place it in here and then this should play. Excellent. See, look, I called it. A breakthrough. The portal remains stable, but only to, only to look through. Touching the thing causes the image to fade. I need more power if I am to pass physically to the other side. The landscape is beyond extraordinary. Excellent. Yeah, so let's say I, I think I pretty much worked that one out in the last um, part, part two. All right, so time to do this. And get the next one. All right, so Jeez, this this got Ah, okay. So this is the release now for this. Okay. Still don't know what that lock thing is though. Maybe I'll I'll get around to it as part of this. But I'm guessing this will then fit onto the rail that I was looking at before where the safe used to be, right here. It's a key. Hey, that's the key that I was looking for. That's the key for the other place. All right, so now we have this. We can go and put this in that thing, and I guess this is now going to allow us to unlock whatever it was I wanted to unlock. Whatever is behind it. Pretty much about the last thing we can interact with, actually. So, All right, so it should already be in place. We just need to put the key in.
Right, let's go see what's. Let's have another look through here then, and see what's happening on this side. Okay, so then I need to turn it. Okay, I see what's happening. I need to turn it. And I guess do the same on this bit. Turn the other way. Thanks for the look, Hocus. Appreciate it, buddy. What's going on? Deathwish. You join us as we're about to get, I think, the do everything we need to do to get the last ending. Get our fourth and final token. Pretty sure this is all we need to do anyway. There's nothing else that I can think that I can interact with. So uh, I will do. I haven't looked at any of the endings, but yeah, this will be. This is me unlocking the final ending, I believe, so. I'm assuming you didn't get all the cards popped up in the fortune teller machine. Because I can only assume that getting each of them to pop up is each of the endings. As they are named after each of the uh, fortune cards. I know which one you're going to pick. Lost. Oh, okay. Oh, my dear God. What is this? I got a mysterious artifact. Oh, I broke her. No! Dundid broke her. So that's like the other thing. <laughs> yeah, this room's pretty screwed now. Um, so. There is nothing else I can do here, is there? Just curiosity there, where did my money go? Where did my tokens go? Here's the slot. Alright, so I think, yeah, I think that's it. I think I've done everything. She's well and truly screwed. There's nothing popped out the bottom this time for me to take. The painting's all over the place, so... I was trying to think whether or not there's anything that I can think I didn't solve or haven't interacted with. I've done the record players, I've done that lock in the side. I've done that other thing at the top. And the safe thing. No, I think we're good. I think 
can't think of anything else. All right, let's head back to the fountain. There's no more paint luring me away anywhere. All right, so let's do it. Let's let's put it in. Let's put it in. Let's see what happens, shall we? Craftsman's key. I don't know what I'm going to do with these other things, though. That's... A little bit worrying, but all right, let's go through the portal. Metal ring. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a movie. Kind of. Let's 
Got a mirror. Does anyone know what these things are? So where am I going to place these mirrors? There. Let's look inside the Craftsman Key. Looks like we're uh, doing the right thing. Hey, that's uh, back in the train. All right, but now I've got the the place here for the artifacts. So wait, did you do this stuff? Which or is this extra? I I'm unsure. Oh hello. Oh, it's just kinda of like locking it off. Okay. That's fine. Maybe this is just like extra videos or something. find out shall we Okay, well that's powered. Oh. Oh, okay. I think I get what's happening. So it looks like these things are changing the endings.
Oh, I can turn them both ways. This is actually pretty tricky because Oh man. This one's um kicking my ass. Jeez. Shouldn't be now. Pick any two now. I mean, it's... I just need two on. everything off. If I just want two on, then I could do this. There we go. I got it. We got it. Okay. It's 
So wait, I'm, is that it? Am I done? Doesn't look like I can interact with anything else, so... Alright, well... Let's, um... Let's click on the door. tearing through that freaking place, jeez. It's smashing it to smithereens. I don't know if this letter will reach you. I only know that the warder will take my bribe. You must come at once. When we opened the gateway, something was waiting. It had always been waiting. Now it's here. Soon we are doomed. I know you have no reason to trust me, but you must. You are the only one who can help. You are the only one who knows. You are the only one who will believe me. I am in Bethlehem. Find me. Bethlehem? Wow. Congratulations! You completed the room. Three, for the first time, I witnessed the aftermath of your actions. However, there are alternate endings for you to discover. You can now use the Change Your Fate button on the main menu to revisit Greyhelm. Only by using the mysterious artifacts hidden by the craftsman will you earn the power to alter your destiny. All right, so playtime was 5 minutes and 56 for our playthrough. We got the release ending that time around. Um, so, let's change our fate. At this point on, there are no more hints available. The task remains are the tasks remaining are yours to face alone. Okay. Oh, okay. So I see. I think I see what what needs to happen here. So first of all. I just need to put this in, resolve this puzzle. Okay, so. Resolve this puzzle and get like the train ending, I guess. So what do I do? This. Down there. Open it up. I just know what I'm doing. Excellent. Okay. So then we do this.
We got the mirror. Mirror goes on here. Then slide that away. So, let's hop on the train, shall we? Okay. Congratulations, you have found the center of my labyrinth. That may feel like a victory, but it leaves you farther from freedom than you have ever been. If it is any consolation, you were not the first and you will be far from the last. Know that every single turn led you to this point. As you like puzzles so much, I have one final riddle for you to occupy with your eternity. What is the difference between a maze and a labyrinth? But how can I expect you to answer when you cannot tell a room from a prison? The Craftsman. What? Am I like back in the freaking lions or something? Oh jeez. the craftsman done wow that's um yeah that's that's something all right that is something all right let's change our fate again so what we gonna do for the last one though Let's do this for a third time. Quite intrigued about this mirror. I don't seem to have used this mirror. I wonder if that's for the final ending, maybe. Thank you. 
I don't seem to have used that mirror for anything. That makes me suspicious. Just don't use it. All right, so I'm gonna try this one because I think the the door didn't change. Uh, technical issue, YouTube. I'll be back in a moment. And we're back. Sorry about that. Power line adapter problems. Damn them power lines. All right, so um, I think we're done. Yep, we're done. So I'm hoping this gives me a different door other than the wooden shack we've already seen. the same ending again I'll be very upset very angry no, the same ending <sighs> alright so that kind of like threw me a bit because I thought because the animation of the door didn't change last time around um, I kind of thought I had to do the other one but clearly not is rather annoying. Seriously though, the null freaking tore everything down. Alright, so. Let's try that again. I 
I should have stuck my gut though, because I originally thought that it would be the one on the left would be like the second ending. I guess the cards would go in order, but all right. So drop that on there. Can't do anything with that yet. So, not running on here. Oh, it is used. Okay, it is used. I just wonder if I need to do something with this. I don't know. Let's get this other ending unlocked first. I wonder if I put them on top of each other, maybe. Let's do this ending. What? Oh, 
All right, now I'm confused. Oh no. This is a different ending, I think. No, it's not. Is it? Yeah, it's a different ending. All right, so. They must have poured over a thousand maps. Grey Home isn't just gone. It never existed. I sometimes doubt my sanity and others are starting to agree with me. This quest can only land me in an asylum. No matter, I find curiosity has lessened its grip on me and life's other interests and are returning. Whatever it was that drew me is gone. I can sense it no longer and I finally feel free. Was there ever a source of the null? Or was it always just bait in the trap? I know now that I will never know and that knowledge is a sweet, sweet joy. All right, so that is the escape. So we have imprisoned, escape and release. So we still have, let's get rid of that. One more to find. Uh, that is the lost ending. But I, I have everything. So there's one thing that I thought of. No, it can't be that because I did both of them. I'm guessing it's going to be a, a combo. It's the only thing. It doesn't look like I can go back in that.
have to like press both the buttons. Let's do this and then I wonder if maybe I have to use a screwdriver for something. Do we still have the screwdriver? Alright, so it is only one colour at a time. Nothing I can do with that. There's something that looks out of place.
Ah. I was right. Okay. Yes. I need all three. Yep, I was right. So then I press... The, oh, maybe not all three. Yeah, all three. So I press this button. Booyah! We did it, boys and girls. I knew it had to be something to do with that because we still had it in our inventory. Hey, that's what we saw on the from the observatory, wasn't it? Some Is that Mayan temples on Mars or something? Congratulations, you have discovered all the secrets within the walls of Greyhome and have finally seen all endings to the Room 3. Your dedication in this manner has been most impressive. Fireproof Games salute you. All right, final playtime, 6 hours and 24.52. Um, well, endings of Imprisoned and Lost kind of... kind of a bit weird. I don't know. Um, the endings for Escape and Release kind of looks like escaping, and then Release is where the uh, the void is kind of like just almost like releasing its power. Possibly it's like hanging out in the sky. We saw. Um, as for imprisoned, taken into some ancient civilization. Um, not really sure what's going on there. If I'm honest. And then lost, yeah, that's just, I am completely lost with that ending. It's, um, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know what to make of the endings. If, it's, uh, if I'm being honest, I kind of th feel a bit disappointed with those endings. There wasn't really as much on them as I was kind of hoping for. Not really many answers, um, if I'm honest. Just more questions. Because I understand there is a, there is a, a further game old sins i think it's called uh which is only our mobile at the moment but um i believe team spend was saying during the previous episode that that's um all a different sorry <laughs> there's a different area of different people but it's kind of se it's separated from this game so i guess you either escape or you end up trapped forever but um yeah, there we go, guys. That is the room three. Um, as I kind of said in my first, after the first episode, I think I'm a little bit disappointed. I didn't really feel like the puzzles were overly challenging in this one. I think overall the game was longer, but I feel it was very linear a lot of the time. There was just like one thing that I really struggled with that I looked up earlier on, and that was the, the buttons, and I hadn't taken note of the arrows. Um, but other than that, yeah, everything was pretty straightforward, I think. Um, I was kind of hoping for a bit more of a challenge, but it's not to say I didn't enjoy the game. I did enjoy the game quite a lot. Um, so yeah, now I get to uh, catch up on how Deathwish played, and um, which is playthrough, which is in my can't watch now queue. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the stream today. Thank you very much for tuning in. As always, the links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. We'll be back uh, next week with a, another new game. Not quite decided what we're going to play yet. Um, it's a toss-up between a platformer or a kind of another puzzle kind of murder mystery game. So um, I'll make a choice. But whatever I choose, you'll be able to see it right here um, live on Twitch on Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. GMT. Or on YouTube, whenever it comes out on YouTube. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.